Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Can I just get a virtual high five through the internet right now for the fact that we all survived January, aka the longest month in the history of humanity. I literally feel like it lasted like 484 years. For some reason, I really struggled. The struggle was real this January. But anyway, high five to me right now and to you guys as well because we are finally into February. I guess it's just like a brain trick thing, but it has made the world of difference to me. I've been making things, I've been waking up full of inspo. Part of that has been putting together the new spread for my bullet journal. I have really, really enjoyed putting this one together. Rather than kind of like cramming it in here and there, I made a real effort to put some time aside to sit down and draw and create and doodle. And I am pretty happy with the way it's turned out actually. There's a few things that I really hate, which I will show you as we go through. But overall, I think it looks pretty cute. You can expect to see a lot of pink, a lot of hearts. Uh, hearts in February is groundbreaking. Yeah, I know it's like super cliche, but I have kind of gone for a valentines e kind of theme. Um, it's pretty girly, it's pretty cute. So if that sounds up your street, then I hope you like it. And one thing I have done, which is slightly different to my last bullet journal video, is that I have started to include a few little stickers in with my own drawings. Ooh, it's very exciting, stickers. If you're anything like me, you do actually get excited about things like stickers and pens. Please do give this video a little thumbs up if you're enjoying it while you watch. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Let's get stuck in. Okay, welcome to my very artfully arranged bullet journal vid. Uh, cat candle, matching nail polishes, and even the pens that I actually used to draw this. I'm so organised, I'm actually getting vaguely good at this. If you haven't seen my first bullet journal video, you might want to go back and have a watch of that first, just in case you want to check out how I do all the like first important bits of laying out my bullet journal. One of the things I am going to do is go back to each month of my yearly spread and add in the colour that I've gone for for my monthly theme. So while I did blue in January, I decided it was only right to get all lovey-dovey and go pink for February. This is one of the Crayola super tips if you happen to be interested in the pens that I like to use. Um, I have like a huge rainbow set and I really recommend them because they don't go through the pages of this one which is awesome. So now that I have given you a bit of a spoiler let's hop over to my February layout. This is the bookshelf that I drew up last month. I've made a little bit of a start. I'm on my fourth book of the year at the moment. So far they've all had quite a murderous theme. I don't know if you'll actually be able to tell here but while I usually use like felt tips, brush pens, fine liners and that kind of thing for my title this month I actually went for some proper brush and ink. Once I'd inked in my letters I just added these little hanging heart details and then outlined the letters once they were dry. Do not go in there straight away when your ink is still wet because that's going to be one whole disaster. And then for this kind of like little frame that I've added, I feel like I maybe need to put something else on here. It still looks a bit half done but anyway, um, for this frame I actually inked that in not with a felt tip but with this awesome like coppery metallic ink that I have. I don't know if you can pick this up on camera but it's got such like a metallic finish to it. But anyway, that is my title page, so let's jump in. This month my layout is very similar to last month, so if you want to know kind of why I go for this layout, why it works really well for me, check back on my old video where I explain all about that. But on the left I have my this month page, and this is kind of where I put everything that is coming up in my personal life. So things like evenings out, nights out, any trips that I'm going on, that kind of thing. I've added in my little at a glance calendar just at the corner here so I can double check dates. I've gone for baby pink to do my days of the week. As I mentioned earlier, I have also gone for some stickers this time around. I will tell you where they are from in a minute. Um, but this particular one is kind of like pale pink detailing and this has the same kind of metallic detail to it as my cover page, which I think links in pretty well. Over on this side, I think this is one of my favorite pages of my whole layout actually. Uh, this is more of like my work deadline. So I put any events over here, things like PR events, meetings. And then this is my due column where I put all my hideous looming deadlines that I always leave till the last minute. I kind of went for like love heart sweets inspired hearts. Uh, they're nowhere near as dainty as these ones and these ones at the top here um, but I feel like they're a lot more me. I kind of wish I'd done more of them um, and rather than like romantic messages I put sassy little ones inside them so I've got stay cool, sass, can you not, as if and hell no. I don't know I feel like they're quite good because they fit with the theme but they're just a lot less twee and a lot more me 
And that was a great rhyme, well done me. So that is my month at a glance page. And then over on the next one, this is my mood tracker. Um, I don't know if you remember last month, I did something very similar. I like to keep track of my moods. I think it's something really helpful for me. This time with my Valentine's theme, I went for hearts this time. Um, let me just show you what it actually looks like when it's done. I'll go back to last month. So this was my mood tracker for January. I fill them in depending on whether I've had a good, an okay, or a bad day. So as you can see, mostly good in January, considering it was the longest month of all time. So the way that I have done that for February is actually pretty similar. Um, I did more of like a neat linear pattern for them rather than like the random mix of stars. Uh, mixed up the sizes a little bit and then just dated them all with a very teeny tiny little date above each heart. And then I added this little doodly post-it note just in the corner here. It's a little bit lame for me. I wish I'd written something better. Uh, love you more. I don't really know what I was thinking. I kind of hate the writing as well. So let's just pretend this never happened. As usual, next to my mood tracker, I also have my post page. So that's all the incoming online shopping. And then because I'm self-employed, I also like to keep track of my expenses here as well because I am forever forgetting everything that I ever need to expense. I like the separation with just the pen as well. I think that's really cute. And one of the doodles that is definitely my favorite this month are these little heart-shaped envelopes, which obviously match the post theme pretty well. And they are just kind of like my standard monthly pages. Um, so next up, I'm hopping straight into my weekly spreads. As you may notice, uh, I'm starting here on the 5th of February. Um, I've been so busy recently. I've had like a ton of deadlines. I actually didn't have time to start my bullet journal in time for the start of the month. So I actually missed the first week, which is super annoying. But at least that means that February's layout starts on a Monday. I like to mix up my weekly spreads as I go. So each page is a little bit different. First up, I've gone for this. It's pretty simple, to be honest. Um, I've just got the days of the week here and then the actual date itself is written in this like little banner with a little bit of heart detailing just on the edge. And something I didn't do last month, which I've decided is something I probably need in my weekly spreads, um, is a little bit of space for notes because I pretty much jot down every thought that ever pops into my head because my memory is terrible. Um, so I kind of need a little bit of space for just like random brainstorm nonsense that doesn't really fit in with my daily to-do list. So that is what this is gonna be for. These little pattern stripes at the bottom here are actually also stickers. I absolutely love these. I think they add something so cool to this page. Um, I'll show you the sticker book now, actually, I guess. This is a sticker book that I picked up from a stationery shop called Kiki K. In here, everything is a mixture of like gold metallic, pastel pink, brush fonts, calligraphy, uh, awesome heart shapes, all that kind of stuff right up my street and I feel like it matches perfectly with this monthly spread. Absolutely love these. It's really encouraged me to use more stickers in the future. I don't know if I mentioned it last time, but it's something that I really want to do more of. Um, I really kind of love the idea of designing my own stickers as well. So that's something I'm going to think about. So all in all, pretty happy with this weekly spread. The next one I'm not so happy with. I'm just going to throw that out there. To start with, I really like these little banner headers. Um, I think they fitted really well with the the kind of soft girly pastel valentine's theme but now that i've actually got them i kind of hate them and i had an absolute mare with this pen that i'd used to do my brush font capital letters uh totally didn't realize that it smudges when you um carry a felt tip over the top of it so a little bit bummed out about that because it's kind of messed the color up and there's also a load of tip x going on here uh, just being honest, just goes to show you that like at first glance it might look pretty perfect but when you get up close and personal to my bullet journal it definitely is not. And I think that's really important to remember too, it really does not have to be perfect. Just get stuck in, get drawing and you'll be more pleased with the outcome than you think you are. This next one I'm also not mad keen on. Um, I feel like the black lines are too thick. I feel like they like overbear the whole page. This time I've gone for love hearts to number the dates. I've gone for this brush font again and these hideous black lines. Why did I do that? This would look so much cuter if there was not black lines. Actually, maybe I'll just tip X them out. Anyway, I love this little header. Um, I saw something similar to this on Pinterest and couldn't resist recreating it myself. Uh, so this is just my little this week title. It's a paper plane with like a little trail of hearts coming off it. And down here for my notes space, I just did some like random doodles. There's some little roses, hearts, and then another sticker here with the gold detail, just to kind of like carry the theme through a little bit. Last but not least, I have my last page of February, which is this one. 
Ironically, it's the last one, but I think it's my favourite one. This doodle I love. This is another one I spotted from Pinterest. A little heart-shaped cactus. This is my favourite weekly spread of the bunch, and it's probably the simplest one. So it's made me think maybe I need to do more like big drawings rather than like loads of crazy doodling. Um, so I'll bear that in mind for March, I think. Then just to finish it up, I've got my ideas page. Uh, last month, I dedicated it to just videos, I think. Yeah, so last month I had a much more specific like video ideas thing. Um, but I ended up absolutely not filling the page and it was kind of a waste to be honest So I decided to just keep this one a lot more general um, And I think it turned out pretty cute actually. I'm not convinced by this like thick Calligraphy writing that I did it didn't turn out as cute as it looks on Pinterest all the time Which is just a metaphor for my life really, but while I'm not keen on the header I do really love these little heart light bulbs along the top here So that's the end of my February weekly spreads as for extra pages this month What I tend to do when it comes to my bullet journals is I complete my monthly layout pretty standard with the pages that I like to stick to and then once I finish the weekly spreads, I like to add in any additional pages that I like. So last month I had the bookshelf, which is working really well for me. And this month I've added in my wish list page. So this is gonna be kind of all my dream purchases that I really wanna make this year. I feel like this will be like a nice little track of everything that I'm aspiring to save for or aspiring to work really hard towards. Um, and then when I get them, I guess I can tick them off and it'll be super satisfying. I feel like this is a bit of a cheesy page, but I do actually quite like it. Um, so I go for gray for anything that's not really specifically linked to the month. Um, I've gone for this like skinny calligraphy font, which I love. I think it's so elegant, it's really pretty. And then just to be as cheesy as pos, I drew a little magic wand. And then I just thought this sticker matched really well with it. Um, it's the same gold again, but it just says seek magic. So I thought that was kind of perfect for this page. So that is my February layout. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite that I've ever done. Um, I really like the pink color. I think I just went a little bit too girly. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I can't complain too much. Um, I just feel like I made a few too many mistakes. But one thing that I do really like is the stickers. That's really inspired me for next month. Um, I like some of the doodles that I did. And overall, I am looking forward to using this layout this month. I think it's gonna be a good one. So I hope you guys have an awesome February. At least it's only like a few weeks this time and it's not the 84 years that January is. I've just had the sudden epiphany that February should have been pancake themed. Oh my God, why didn't I do pancake themed? I'm so disappointed in myself. Uh, anyway, see you in March. So that is everything that is in my February bullet journal layout. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do chuck me a little thumbs up and let's have a chat in the comments down below. Let me know what kind of theme you've gone for this month. If you've added in any new pages, I'm always looking for like new inspiration for what I can add into mine. So please do let me know. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Lucy Jane Wood. Instagram in particular, if this is the kind of thing that you like looking at. I tend to post loads of like sneaky peek pictures and boomerangs and stuff um, on my Instagram story. So make sure you're checking that out and if you do happen to recreate anything that I've shown you today then please don't forget to tag me in the photos on Instagram I would absolutely love to see them so tag me at Lucy Jane Wood and I will definitely check them all out and give them a like thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new around here and I will see you guys next time with another video or if you're just here for the bullet journal stuff I'll see you in March <laughs> bye Mwah.